All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're in episode number 42, which means we're probably going to learn the meaning of life somewhere in this episode. Who knows? But today we are Squishy Buffins with the most ridiculous photo of the series so far, I would say. You know, Squishy on stream the other day did say that he wanted a picture for for him in the series, and here's, here's a brilliant monstrosity for him. We're going to be jumping on right into the games where we left off in the last episode, if it would let me... Rocket League? Thank you, game. All right, we're at Grand Champion 2 Division 2. As you can see, we left off at 1673 in the last episode. Last episode, Diggory didn't really think it was me. And, uh, you know, we proved him wrong with the, the video evidence. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. If you are new to the series or if you're a returning viewer and haven't subscribed yet and you want to help the road to 1 million subscribers, it helps me out a ton if you do subscribe. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Ooh, we got face cam. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, I thought I would do face cam for today. I haven't done face cam since the episode with uh, John, where we uh, don't talk about it. Never mind. Let's forget about it. I'm gonna go super early for this. Pop it off the backboard. Iris gonna make a good clear. Good positioning from XOC though to be ready for that. Both players are up. Midfield pass, and that should be open here. Nice play. Really good pass in the middle. Good of him to wait in that side field. You know that he's gonna have to make a clear to the side. Iris was kind of in an awkward spot, and Smokum's kind of passed it right to me. Or right to my uh, teammate who can then pass to me in midfield because Iris is also like sort of caught up with that that backward play. See, I'm making a challenge. So I'm gonna go a lot loop wide on this. Wait for him to make a touch. It's fine. It's fine as well. Even though my teammate touched the ball, I'm not too worried about it. This guy's the Smokums guy has been just kind of chasing the ball around, like not really doing too much with his touches. Oh, I missed the boost. Oh, that's a good play. Even if I got the boost though, that was pretty tough. Um, I don't like that my teammate just tried to like pop the ball across like that. He could have uh, waited for the ball to land. There wasn't any pressure of like the the opponent making a touch um, with that with that play. He could have just let the guy land uh, with the ball because the second you hit the ball forward like that, you're actually passing it to the uh, the opponents. Okay, once again, I, I'm not a big fan. I had to boost to adjust to make sure that it didn't just open be an open goal for the opponents. But they might be anyway. The guy's trying to make a play, but okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna let my teammate ball chase because that's what, exactly what he's gonna do. I can't really you know prevent that. Pop this on the backboard. Wait for Smokums to try and catch this. Try to go for the demo. The teammate kind of overcommitted, and it's probably gonna be a goal for them. So yeah, this guy's a little bit, a little bit questionable. Not a big fan of him so far. He's been really, really like chasey and aggressive in a position that he's not supposed to be. Like he's he's second man, which is last man in twos, and uh, just needs to play patiently. Exosi's going for back corner boost. Could be open off this touch if he doesn't get back. Good save though. Gotta be a little bit careful of the bumps. Oh yeah, oi, teammate. Oh my goodness. Nice. Iris in awkward position. Don't you dare. Wait for his touch. There we go. It, he, like my teammate sees me on the ball and still wants to push right on top of me. And he's not back. Okay, it could be okay. It's a rough game. Very rough game indeed. Yeah, it's going to be a goal again. <laughs> like I'm there trying to catch the ball and my teammate just does not want to give me the space. It's a little bit rough. But... You know, he could have waited for this pressure touch right here because it's like very difficult for him to get power, but he ends up going for the ball immediately. Both players go. Teammate doesn't know if he wants to go for the ball or what. Should pop off the backboard. Teammate should be ready for this. And there we go. So that, in that situation, I have to make sure I go early to throw off the uh, the opponent and make him back off. Like right here, Iris could have turned. So I just wait for the pop off the backboard. He wasn't really quite ready. And then my teammate has a free goal. Oh, both of them didn't go. He ends up popping to the corner anyway. He could have probably taken a shot instead. And <laughs> the stuff you see at this rank, I just, I just don't know, man. Like, I, like <laughs> uh, is, are, are we in, are we in bronze or are we in Grand, Grand Champ Two? I don't know. Either way, we'll take it. Should we pop off the wall? Keep on my teammate who needs to stay on this ball. Could be dangerous. Oh my goodness! A good pinch. I, I don't have no words. The guy just missed a, a pretty free touch. Ends up throwing it back. My teammate should be pushing up for this. Still cowering in net, even though he's first man. Oh, I missed. It's really bad by me. I should, definitely should have had that. But it's just we can't get any pressure because we're, we're just both sitting in net when he's like already behind me. I definitely should have got that read though. But Exelsi was super, super late. And oh, the ghost touch! Okay, I touched that. I mean, on my side anyway. Let's see if we can get a goal back though. Good. Should we finish? Nice. There we go. Nice job, teammate. Well played. Teammate is in no man's land, really far away. Still should have this though. So 
Awkward play. Stay with this teammate. And it's a goal. Dude, bro. Like, I, <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. It's a weird game. We could pop off the sidewall. Iris kind of didn't know if he, what he wanted to do and just left the ball behind. Look, he's got he's got three three goals and 792 points. I have no idea, man. I'm just not with it. I'm trying to. I should I should have expected that guy to just fake that, but he kind of uh, pushed up further than I expected to. So let's wait for the uh, teammate to make a touch. Maybe again. That's a really good pass. Good save though. Maybe could have just stalled that. Here we go. Good 50. So my teammate got mid boost and he's pre jumping. Yes. Yes, sir. Wait for the next touch. Okay. Teammate doesn't expect me to be going for that ball, I guess. Or this one. <laughs> Dude, this is why he has so many points. He just doesn't let your doesn't let anybody else touch the ball. I really don't like playing with people like that. It's really hard to adjust to because they just kind of go for everything, and that's why they like think that they're carrying or playing well. But it's just like non-stop ball chasing, and we get the we win anyway, but. I did not enjoy that game. I honestly, that was a little bit confusing at the start. I kind of understood like halfway through the game that he was just going to ball chase. So I started to be a little more reserved, but still a very uncomfortable game. I don't know. I wasn't really enjoying that that gameplay. He made a good pass at the start. And we were like looking like we were gel gelling pretty well. And then I don't know. Just, I kept second guessing myself because he was just all over the ball. And then I started making more mistakes. But it is what it is. We'll move on to the next game. Uh, hopefully it gets a little better and we can commentate a little more. And I by no means was playing well that game, obviously, like I just first game of the day, but uh, it's just the way that people rotate. Like, I feel like they just don't seem to recognize their teammates positioning or trust them, which I mean, considering what we've seen in this rank, I can get it because like there's such a wide range. So people tend to just ball chase and, uh, you know, solo play. I realize that they might have it first, so I just want to be a little bit careful with that. Should really get the mid boost from this guy, though. Good touch. Can't really go for this because it's too close to the wall, but I'll stay with this now. There we go. If he misses, pop off the backboard. So he does. My teammate should be able to finish this. Nice job. I, I, I just backed off because I realized my teammate would be ready for that. Um, and I should trust that he's going to be able to make that goal happen, which he does. I definitely could have scored it too, but it's better for me to leave that for him. So he, he has way more boost than me. So I know I know that you know he has the right positioning. Same here. Make a shot towards target. Bit of a miss, but Feezy might just throw it away or pleasey. Okay, he doesn't trust me to sit behind that, so I'm just going to wait for him. Good bump attempt. Stay with this if I can. Hop over one. Hop over two. And right here, I should have a free goal. Not quite the angle, though, and there's the finish. I had, a, I had a not much time to work with, so I didn't leave it to bounce out as far as I really wanted it to. But at least with the backboard touch, my team, I could finish it. Um, but there was, that guy, I could hear that guy rushing back to try and get behind on defense, so... But a little bit careful. I'll shoot this towards target since the guy's pushing up, and it should be a free goal. Uh, in that situation, since the ball's popping to my side, I've talked about this a lot in the other episodes. When the ball bounces towards my half, I know that I have possession, so I just take the shot because I see the guy trying to push up and be over aggressive. If he backed off to the back corner, I probably would have like made a soft touch or something. But because he's aggressing, I can just pop it like really close to the net. And it should give us a free goal. All right, should be my teammate. Good try, teammate. <laughs> Good. See if you can follow it. Still beat him, surprisingly. Good bump attempt. Oh! Snuck it in. He's missing. What's happening? Okay, I'm going to let him push this over me. That way my team has a free ball. Bump the other guy out, too, and see if he can finish it, which he does. And there we go. So, in that situation, I know that he's going to beat me because I have low boost. But what I do is I just let him throw it past me because then it goes to my teammate. That's a lot of 2v2 as well, is just like baiting and switching, basically. Um, if you can bait in the opponent and then have your your teammate who has way more boost because you pushed up uh, take over the ball, it's kind of just like this whole like several 1v1s in a row and there's the forfeit. Not a bad game though. We get 9 points and we're super close to 1700 finally, um, which should be around GC. We're getting a division up here, Division 3. This episode we definitely won't make it to GC3, but we'll probably make it Division 4 hopefully with two more games. It's been a pretty interesting episode today. I mean, maybe the meaning of life is just confusion. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. <laughs> We got It's Sabio on my team, and we got Chairs and Third Man Redditle, uh, but it's 2v2, my, my good sir. We'll stay with this on the touch. Go for a late 50. It's a good positioning for my teammate. You should be able to catch on the wall. Decent try. I'm not going to support him here because I've got low boost. Good play. Be a little bit careful to go for this back corner boost, but it should be alright. Should be okay as long as we land on the wall. Good catch. I was going to do the same thing. That's good. Should be able to follow it now. Boom it out. Yeah, not a great first touch um, for me to follow up. It was a good, it was a decent touch, but for me to follow up, it's not great because uh, 
in a position where um, he's too close to the ball. So we a roller. Oh, good save. That corner view should spawn in a second. We're going to clear it. Good 50-50. Still them, though. Should be a shot towards target. He's not quite ready for it. In that situation, I thought he was going to try and follow up the 50-50, but he ended up like going to the side of the ball, and then I just made a shot towards target. Like right here, I saw him flip past it. It looked like he might have backed up. He went for me on the demo instead, but I think he could have probably like back corner flipped, and he would have touched the ball to stop me from getting that direct shot, especially when his teammate chairs was like trying to push up. So just poor positioning uh, by both both opponents here. I'm trying to do a bit backboard touch here. Oh, it came off the wall. That's, that sucks. Oh, we bumped him out. Okay, well, it's open. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where the other guy went. I don't know how the bump happened. Let's see. So it ended up popping off the ball, the wall to the point where I couldn't follow it. And the other guy got bumped out right there. He was coming back to the net. So really good play from uh, my teammate. Might not have been, been intentional, but it worked out. Sabio could take the boost if he wants. He decides to go for the early pressure, which works so just fine. Right there, I thought my teammate was going to touch it, so I kind of slowed down. All right, a little bit dangerous to go for the boost. Hopefully he can go for the, the play. Good bump, though, from uh, Renadol. Um... I think my team, I wasn't sure if he wanted to go for the boost or, or stay with the pressure. That bump actually kind of killed my momentum. And uh, a good bump. I think he got the bump there. I think my teammate didn't miss. He just like went for the ball. And when you put yourself in between the, the ball and the, the player, it's almost impossible to, you know, defend. Good block from the opponent. Not let me shoot that. Pop it up nice and high. I don't want to pop it straight because then I can follow it. I'm going to fake this so I can stay with it. A far shot and they're not quite ready for it right there chairs kind of pushed to the far side of the net and then Renadol was stuck on the on the backboard i guess he like slowed his momentum down when he was going up the wall to the point where he couldn't follow it up but he had boost because he grabbed the back corner i'm not sure why he didn't uh <laughs> um <laughs> uh, to the point where you know you don't have enough momentum to push uh for the next uh shot there i don't even know what i'm saying anymore the guy threw me off with that comment i'm just gonna say no and leave it at that See if uh, my teammate gets a solid 50-50 here. Good. Go for the backboard double touch. There we go. So the way I do that is just make sure I line up the flat end of my car um, with the first touch. So that way it stays really soft. So I do the aerial roll just to confuse the opponents. And then that final little boost is when my nose is pointing down. That way when I boost, I can readjust. All right. Bad flick. Nope. Bad flick. There we go. Teammate should be able to get that before the opponent. Bump the other guy. See if he wants to finish it. Good catch. And there's... Oh, I was going to say there's a the finish, but nope. Should be a, a pop over the one player. Hopefully my teammate doesn't like commit too hard. Good touch, though, I guess. I don't know what that was. Let's see if he stays with it. Nice. Pop it over. It's going to be the chair's ball here. The teammate should realize that I threw the ball pretty hard back, but um, either way, it's going to work out. We're up 5 five to 1 anyway, so let's see if he finishes it off. There we go. Nice play. And Sabio gets the goal. Um, I might have done a little bit too much this game. I think I <laughs> need to slow it down. Um, but that first game kind of, you know, put me on a little bit on tilt just the way that, that guy was playing. We still won all the games so far. We'll do one more game just because we had a few quick forfeits. But uh, I just kind of, like, played into my my role and, and uh, you know, ball chase a little more than I usually would in the, these episodes. Sabio wants to party up, but I'm only doing one more game, and I'll just pop into a solo play here. But I think that means we're exactly 1,700, which is perfect. We won't get uh, Division 4 in the next game, I don't think. If, it, if it's a similar thing as the 16-15 uh, issue, it probably won't be Division 4. And would you, like the, would you look at that? We got Sabio anyway. No problem, no problem. Uh, boppity, boopity, boop, and three pop. What names we've got here? Good first touch. See if Sabio can follow it. Should be open for me. So what I do there is recorrect my aerial in the middle of the jumping so I know that I have positioning. I know I have enough time to get the flip out if I just jump at a certain distance. Kind of just get used to the timing. If I jump right there and flatten out my car, that way when I actually flip it, levels out the ball. If you kind of flip at an angle, you'll notice that it pops the ball with that corner, like a sharp corner. Think of it like a sharp pin. Um, and you don't want that to happen. You kind of want to hit it with more uh, surface area to just level out the ball, especially when you're shooting an open net. So we have 50-50. Hopefully he needs to get back as soon as possible. I'm going to dig at the demo on him since he's pushing back. Nice little fake action. Close. i going to get clear. What I'll do is I'll try to pop this off the side. I'm going to fake this guy for a little bit just so I can, my teammate can get back. I'll take it across. I have very little boost, so I don't really want to push off the wall here. So I'm going to let the guy make the challenge instead and then move by my teammate. 
I end up popping in middle, he should know that I'm trying to get boost. Good follow though. Okay, I don't think he's gonna go for this. This guy might try to go. I'm gonna fake him a little bit. Give the ball back to my teammate. Still sitting pretty far back, but good defense. Wasn't the greatest touch, but hopefully it's not on target. There we go. Nice. Oh, he got the he got the boost off me, but he's kind of awkward in a position where he's gonna give the ball to me. He might go immediately, so I'm just gonna get a flick out. And that almost is own goaling, I think. Almost. That <laughs> was really close. I'll pop this off the backboard. Make three pop. I have to make an awkward catch. Good demo. Get the back corner now. Hopefully my teammate spawns on the other side. He does. Had to avoid the demo as well. Make sure to boost so I get this belt. Oh, you got the boost actually. Really physical plays from the opponents. Make sure I do a shot towards target. If I flip there, it would have been too high and I would have hit the crossbar. Or I would have hit the backboard in a position where my teammate's not really ready to immediately shoot. So instead I just boost towards the ball and that's sometimes all you need is just enough uh you know enough power off of just a single touch and the the opponents have to react you got to realize that like it, the perspective always looks different for the opponent than it does for you it always seems like you're super super far away from the net but uh sometimes you're like to the point where your the opponents don't have you know robotic reaction times um I'll make a touch here won't be too much uh the guy made a really good 50 50 on my team uh, to the point where the ball's gonna pop up over their heads and three pop was kind of you know committed i know that i know that i can jump right there once i see that three pop has jumped to the point where he can't double pop he's jumped in the air for so long that he's not gonna be able to recover his momentum once he started going downwards on the arc so i could jump up and uh confidently go for that ball's gonna probably bounce awkwardly off the corner so i know that i'm gonna go for the 50 50 grab the corner boost as well that should be sabio's ball i'm gonna wait for his flip reset attempt or challenge oh good bump okay Wait for the shot from three pop. Hoping my teammate can maybe make a touch. It kind of works out though. He's gonna clear to the side. I already know that he's trying to push it back. So I'm gonna get the demo on the way. I'm already pushing for that touch in case uh, he goes, you know, for the clear. He has to touch the ball or else if he just backs off, I'll have free possession. So I know the only way he can do that is to hit that back to that side. And uh, he's saying so bad. An interesting episode to say the least. Uh, definitely wasn't like a big fan of the one rotation in the first game. I think that once I realized the guy was ball chasing a lot, I, I definitely backed off a lot more. Um, a few plays that I could have defended a lot better as well. But otherwise, it was a good episode. Hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be trying to be doing a uh, more of these episodes more often. I know that I had a bit of a gap in the last one. But until next time, hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.